Good morning. I hope you're having a beautiful morning. I want to read you today out of John 15, 26. The Bible says, When the Helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me. John 15, 26. The Holy Spirit gives liberty to the Christian, direction to the worker, discernment to the teacher, power to the word, and fruit for faithful service. If you know Christ, you don't need to beg for the Holy Spirit to come into your life. He is already there, whether you feel his presence or not. Don't confuse the Holy Spirit with an emotional feeling or a particular type of spiritual experience. It is never a question of how much you and I have of the Spirit, but of how much He has of us. Your body is the home of the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians six nineteen. It is my belief that a person who is filled with the Spirit may not even be uh, conscious of it. The late Roy Gustafson said, the Holy Spirit didn't come to make us Holy Spirit conscious, but Christ conscious. Are you? Would you say you are more Holy Spirit conscious or more Christ conscious? Have a Jesus-filled day.